I'm CZ Zhou. I'm a junior research faculty at Parameter Institute. I just joined last fall. And uh, it's really exciting coming to here, uh, doing research and being able to meet very excellent students and collaborate with other research scientists. So I work in quantum information. So it is a research area where people use qu study quantum effect and it, uh, try to find a connection to like other research area like computer science, mathematics, and so on. And more specifically, I work on two topics. Uh, one is quantum metrology or quantum sensing, where people try to detect very small quantum signal in a quantum system. And also, uh, quantum error correction is an important tool to reduce noise in the quantum system. So they are both very important modern quantum technologies. I love to do theory, so uh, for example, uh, I do a lot of work where I try to find optimal uh, things. For example, I try to find optimal controls to achieve the best sensitivity for a quantum sensor, or I, I try to find the optimal code uh, to sense something with the best precision. So um, it's kind of rewarding, like uh, when I approach a mathematical or a physics problem, I don't know the answer. I, I don't know like uh, how to find the correct result because if you use brute force, it would be basically impossible to do that. And then uh, when I approach the problem and then I find the optimal way to do that and with, with some theoretical uh, derivations analysis, and then it's possible to actually find a very simple result to a very complicated question where people don't even know the answer. And that, that's the most rewarding part to me. Like when you approach a question, you don't know the answer and then Finally, you find a simple way to solve it, so it's just a uh, feels very um, rewarding uh, experience to me. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is the correct answer, but basically, um, it's kind of like when researchers they write papers. Um, it's not like the end of a task, so it's it's more like a beginning of a task. You identify a problem and then. You, you find some way to solve it, but then it's always like not perfect. So for example, when I was a PhD, I write a paper and, and then, but there was always some open question in it that I was always trying to figure out like how to answer. And then like after uh, three or four years, after I write like uh, four or five papers in this subject, I finally, I reach an answer where I, I'm satisfied, I mean, it, it feels like a complete theory that answers this specific question, and then that, that's the most uh, satisfying moment for me. Yeah, so just to have a complete theory <laughs> of a specific problem, yeah, instead of just one paper, yeah. We know that there are already like practical applications in this field. For example, like in uh, LIGO, people use uh, quantum state to de detect gravitational wave. Or like uh, in uh, atomic clock, people use uh, a bunch of atoms to detect laser frequency and so on. But then I, I don't think we're quite ready to say that we already see there's a quantum enhanced uh, sensor that brings significant improvement over like the classical one. So it's like we can see some part of improvement, but then it's not like substantial improvement. So I really hope to see that there's really some substantial uh, improvement people can find, some substantial application people can find where people can say that, okay, so there is some kind of quantum control or quantum entanglement and when you use it, uh, it will bring significant uh, improvement uh, over the classical case. So, and uh, I guess that's the big thing I hope to see in the future in my field. <laughs>